Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the unique item called the Endless Shale. Uh, the Endless Shale is a very specific bow that seems to have a very specific purpose. Um, it is to beef up your Strafe ability. Uh, strafe is an ability that has a very nice 10 target shot. Uh, it fires very quickly and uh, and in about the span of a second you literally will fire 10 arrows. Um, it has a purpose to essentially just fire as many arrows as humanly possible per shot. Um, to give you an idea of this let me go uh, to I don't know let's go to River Flame and uh, we're gonna fire our strafe arrows at people here real quick and uh, you will see we're just like one strafe, let's see here, one 1,000, two 1,000, there we go. So 10 arrows in literally two seconds. And uh, and the reason why this particular bow is set up this particular way is because they want you to fire as quickly as possible. That's the goal of this bow, is firing as many arrows as quickly as possible um, and you know just having a lot of fun firing many, many thousands of arrows. Now the beautiful thing about firing many thousands of arrows with something like Strafe is that it works extremely well in proc builds, which is basically where you will trigger an effect. Like, for instance, I have the 25% chance to cast level 10 Firestorm on striking, and as you saw, it was proccing all the time. Um, and this is because Strafe is absolutely excellent for proccing abilities. Um, in fact, if you have any kind of effect on any kind of item and you're using Strafe, Strafe is the best chance that you're actually going to get it to actually, you know, actually work. Um, Endless Shale does have uh, a double bow as its base, and double bow is actually a very nice um, speed bow, if I remember correctly. Uh, double bow is the negative 10 base, that's correct, negative 10, uh, which does mean that this is one of the faster bows in the game. Uh, we also have a 73 dex requirement, 58 strength, which is not bad at all, and 36 level requirement, which postures this basically the end of normal difficulty, beginning of nightmare. So very much so a... Um, a bottom tier bow um, because if you haven't left normal difficulty yet you really aren't out of the bottom tier um, mid tier is definitely nightmare difficulty and then of course your end tier is hell difficulty items um, and uh, endless shale fits very nicely in the kind of the bottom tier section uh, we also have a very nice 220 percent enhanced damage on this which does vary from 180 to 220 percent um a little bit of a variable there, but 220% is actually pretty high for a lot of bows. Um, some bows won't even go that high, anywhere near that high. They'll be like 150% or even lower. Uh, we also have an added damage of 15 to 30 cold damage, which is certainly very nice, especially considering you're going to be hitting targets relatively quickly and relatively quick succession, which means they're probably all going to be nicely chilled with a three-second duration. Now, granted, in Hell Difficulty, that three-second duration is nerfed down to 33% of its effectiveness, which is essentially one second, but you can increase that duration with other cold damage effects, like, for instance, a Raven Frost or any other cold damage that you have will increase the duration. Uh, we also have plus 5 to strafe, which is kind of massive, and uh, brings our strafe from 465% enhanced damage to a very nice 490% enhanced damage, uh, which is <laughs> definitely sexy. Um, plus 5 strafe, though, isn't like too amazing, because unlike elemental damage abilities and things like that, it doesn't have a huge effect, and off-weapon ED isn't really that impressive. Um, in fact, something like a Fortitude with 300% enhanced damage nerfs completely the relatively small amount of enhanced damage that plus 5 strafe gives you from 465 to 490. So we're talking about, what, 75, 85, so 25% enhanced damage. That's what we're talking about. So strafe is giving us 25% enhanced damage and a little bit more attack rating um, for... I don't know, this, this doesn't really seem that impressive. Uh, they could have made it plus 10 strafe, um, and uh, it probably still wouldn't have been broken, in my opinion. Uh, the only downside, of course, to giving it a massive amount of level of strafe is that a character that doesn't build strafe could utilize it and get good effect out of it, right? 
So they're kind of uh, in, a, in an oddest predicament there. Uh, we do have 50 defense versus missile, which is always nice to have, but not really too amazing. Plus 40 mana, which actually will help out quite a bit for your regeneration. And then 35% uh, resistance to cold, which goes along with the cold theme here. We have endless shale. So, you know, it's it's basically, uh, you know, a, a weather storm with shale. And then we've got, uh, you know, the, the strafe, which is kind of like going on with theme, letting us uh, fire off as many of them as possible so that it is a endless shale and then we have the cold damage which of course is applying into the you know the whole cold damage thing the the meme and then we have the cold resistances on there and then even you could even say that the mana is part of it because it's uh you know blue and and blue is kind of associated with cold objects so we've got uh, we got multiple things going on on here kind of like a cold strafe bow now, I do feel like it kind of fails to accurately give what it's trying to do. Number one, it should have had some kind of increased attack speed. Just simply putting it in a double bow and um, you know putting it at a faster base does not necessarily mean it's going to be faster than other options um, that may have increased attack speed on them. So they should have given it something. 10% increased attack speed, 20% increased attack speed, something would have, would have been useful here. Um, it does serve very well the purpose that it is designed for, which is to fire very fast and utilize strafe very well and to, to chill down monsters. And at level 36, granted, that 15 to 30 cold damage is actually very impressive, and in normal difficulty, you will probably murder rise pretty much every monster you come across. In fact, we could go to normal difficulty, or you know what, let's go to, let's go to nightmare difficulty. And let's go somewhere like Stony Field. And I think you'll find that um, that it probably does pretty well in Stony Field. Um, just about murdering just about anything you come across. Um, especially with Strafe. Um, it's it's a particularly good bow for this kind of character. Um, and, uh, and the amount of damage that it puts out is definitely very nice. Let's take off the torch, though. Um, and as you can see, it just peppers arrows on everything. And in combination with things like uh, Critical Strike, with piercing effects, allowing you to hit those 10 arrows to hit more than just 10, you know, one target. Uh, your 10 arrows could potentially hit 10 targets each, you know, and, and then you're looking at 10 times 10, which is, uh, which is kind of insane. And so it multiplies out really quickly when you're thinking about it from this particular perspective. However, once you get into, like, Hell Difficulty and you have a lot of physical immunes, um, that... 15 to 30 cold damage is just not really going to be a whole lot anymore. Um, and that's the kind of the case with all kinds of elemental damage effects on bows, especially when they're lower level bows, because they don't scale. And because they don't scale, they're always going to be inferior to another option. Um, I mean, I could take a bow if I just wanted elemental damage. I could take a bow and I could just put, you know, like multiple perfect sapphires in there for more elemental damage than 15 to 30. Um, which is kind of sad, considering that it's a level 36 bow. And, uh, you know, if you were to take a look at something like a, um, I want to say a perfect ruby. Uh, let's take a, let's take a look at some real quick, shall we? Just for, just for laughs. I got my gem character right here. He's got all the jammies. He's got the jammy, jammy, jammies. Can't you see? Sometimes the gem is a gem for me. So here we go. We got 10 to 14 damage on a perfect sapphire. So if we were to take basically, what, five or six of these and throw them in a, a, a bow, um, we can obviously get, what, 60 to a, a lot higher. There's a, a lot higher than the bow the Endless Shale is giving us. I mean, granted, we could put one of these in the Endless Shale to increase it, but it'd be probably far better off to put something like a Shale Rune in the Endless Shale, um, you know, seeing as how the entire idea behind the Endless Shale is speed and firing those arrows as fast as humanly possible. And even, the, even when we're finished, firing them even faster than that, now, we do have a very interesting graphic here on the Endless Shale. It is uh, basically a what almost looks like a spine bone or something, um, or like leg bones, or I'm not really sure exactly what it is, um, on top of a wooden frame, uh, which is kind of interesting uh, from a graphical standpoint, and it definitely does have a very attractive kind of a look to it there. Um, I really am kind of interested to see how this thing upgrades. And I, oh, I also forgot to mention that the uh, plus five strafe is variable from three to five. So you will find this with less than plus five strafe. Um, so not only does the plus five strafe not even really give you that too much of a bonus, it's not even really super impressive considering that it, it rolls lower than that. 
Um, we can upgrade this though, so let's see how this upgrades. Uh, you're going to need a Pull Rune, a Lum Rune, and a Perfect Emerald to upgrade this. Um, and it's going to go from the Endless Shield Double Bow from 35 to 83, 73 Dexterity, 58 Strength, level 36. To the Great Bow at 38 to 166 damage, 107 Dexterity, 121 Strength, level 58. At level 58, that's actually not bad. Um, that could probably carry you uh, through Nightmare into Hell difficulty, and uh, maybe even maybe even Hell difficulty. You know what? We're in Hell difficulty right now, and we are on, I believe, Players 5. Yes, we're on Players 5. Let's go kill Shank uh, and Eldritch, or, or Eldritch. Let's kill Eldritch. Let me kill Shank. I'll let Shank live today. Only today. Um, and let's just use Strafe, because obviously that's the ability that this bow is relying on. And I, I didn't take this stupid thing off. I don't know why I always have the stupid thing on. Um, as you can see, the cold damage is nowhere near as effective here, especially considering these monsters are immune. And that's something that you have to keep into account when you are thinking about um, effects like this. There's a lot of cold immunes in Hell Difficulty. Um, like a lot, a lot. And so right now we're basically only doing the physical damage. Uh, but as you can see, it's not doing particularly poorly. Um, if we were to throw a, a shale rune in here, I do believe it would probably hit a new breakpoint and would do a little bit better. Um, it really is just like, you know, kachinkin' away. Just kachinkin' away at Eldritch. I think the real fun thing about Strafe is not the physical damage, um, although that's what people sometimes focus on. I think the real um, beauty of this particular item is, or, or rather skill, is its ability to proc effects. Um, if you're going to use Strafe, you're probably going to use it in some kind of proccing effect ability. Hey, there's the Hell Clap, the Hell Crap Short War Bow. I actually just did a video on that one. Uh, it's, it's actually not a bad bow, even though I do like calling it the Hell Crap. Um, all in all, I'm not super impressed with the damage that it has. Um, there are definitely some options that I think have kind of like better damage. Um, for instance, something like the um, Eagle Horn is definitely an interesting choice. And as you can see, it's 302, 45 to 302. Much higher damage, just in general, than the um, Endless Shale Bow. Um, same thing with the Wind Force at a high tier. This one is obviously 519. Uh, but as a mid-tier option at level 58, upgrading the Endless Shale for a Strafe Zone doesn't exactly seem like a horrible option. Um, I just, I really feel like there's a lot better bows out there that you could be using. Um, one in particular that I feel like could be a better choice just in general is the Cliff Killer Bow, uh, which has plus two Amazon and also has uh, very nice enhanced damage. It's actually better damage than this bow um, by miles, um, even at a lower tier. At level 41, it's way better. Um, I actually just did a video on the Cliff Killer, and um, the Cliff Killer does seem like just a better strafe bow all around. Um... The Sky Strike, which is an edge bow, um, has 250 lightning damage on it and is much faster. And I feel like the Sky Strike could be a better option as well over the Endless Shale because the Sky Strike has that 250 elemental damage, which you could apply multiple times, um, especially if you're using Strafe. So you're firing 10 arrows, 10 times 250, you know, and if you sh if your piercing effects are, are landing as well, that 250 can get multiplied quite nicely with Strafe. Um, and before you know it, the Sky Strike could be dishing out, you know, many thousands of lightning damage um, if you were using the strafe ability um, so it's it's kind of like not really the best option for a strafe amazon although if i was leveling up as a solo cell found and i happened to find this bow i certainly wouldn't be sad that i found it um, but if i had a better option laying around i might use that instead especially since sky strike is much easier to obtain uh, you can get it in normal difficulty and speaking of that, let's go take a look and see where we could potentially get our hands on this particular bow if we wanted to find one. Um, so finding this bow may be a little bit difficult, but let's see um, what our options are. Um, so we're going to do about 120, 100% uh, magic find because it's a level 36 bow. And uh, we're going to limit ourselves to bosses first. Um this is a normal difficulty item, so let's take a look and see what monsters of normal difficulty can drop this bow. So it's only Bale at 1 in, three, one in 1,354, so if you could get it from Bale, it might be an interesting option. Um, nightmare difficulty, 
We're looking at Andariel at 1 in 769 and Mephisto at 1 in 807. Uh, by the time you get to Mephisto, you'll outlevel the bow. And good luck getting a pole and a lumber room to upgrade it. Um, so probably not going to be a great option to find there. Uh, if you can't find it from Baylor and Dariel, um, by the time you do end up getting to Mephisto, you'll probably have something better, or hopefully you'll have something better. Um, if not, I mean, you know, you'll be happy to get your hands on it. Uh, let's take a look at Super Uniques. Do any Super Uniques in normal difficulty drop this? Yes, but really crappy drop chances. I mean, Pindle drops it at like <laughs> 1 in 63,000. Wow, that's kind of insane. Um, Nightmare difficulty. We've got the Nightmare Cow King, which is impossible to farm for a level 36 character. Um, Bone Ash, 1 in 8,742. Actually, not a bad choice. Um, I think that's probably our, our go-to there. Um, I would definitely farm Bone Ash. He's easy to farm, easy to get to. There's a waypoint right there. A um, couple other, like, uh, you know, elite monsters will usually spawn around him, so nice little farming spot just in general. And uh, definitely probably the best choice for trying to get your hands on an Endless Shale early on when you can actually use it. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys gals watching my videos, um, even when they seem endless. And as always, keep shaling.